Hi everybody and welcome to Permaculture Malaga. I was hoping to do this episode up on the property, but unfortunately we've been suffering from SACD for the last three weeks, severe acute car deficiency, so we've been stuck here. I still wanted to prepare for the move and prepare things for the property, so I've been seeding, germinating, sprouting all kinds of things. And I wanted to share that with you. Now, you don't need to go to your garden center to get seeds. Um, most of you probably have seeds at home, either in your uh, spice cabinet or in your vegetable drawer or your fruit bowl or something. You probably have something lying around. I mean, I looked at, at our spice cabinet and we had uh, puppy seeds, coriander seeds, dried chilies with seeds, we had mustard seeds, we had flax seeds, we had um, black pepper seeds, and I looked at what we have of fruit and veg. I mean, tomatoes have seeds, cucumbers, peppers, you, we got garlic, uh, ginger, um, pineapple, strawberry, uh, peaches, apples, pears, whatever. I'm pretty sure that you can find something in your house that has seeds and you can try to see if it will grow. Now, some of the things that you buy in the supermarket might not germinate. They might have been radiated, they might have been treated in some way, or they might just be too old to... Um, to germinate or or seed in uh, in any way, but it's worth trying. I mean, most of it is for free, um, and I like growing things from seed rather than going to the nursery. Um, the problem with going to the nursery is that a lot of the plants are well; they look nice at the nursery, and they've been living a luxury life there where they've been catered for in every way, water, right sunlight, uh, the right fertilizer, everything. And then you bring them home and you put them out in the real world and what happens is they they, they can't take it. They, they have never been in the real world and they don't know how to, to handle it. So even if you get a plant that's three years old, it's it's gonna lose all its leaves, it's gonna look miserable for six months or a year and then it's gonna start growing again. So basically you lose six months, a year worth of growth. Uh, the, the plants from nurseries are like, like politicians, they've never been in the real world. Uh, but seeds, uh, if you grow them where, there's a, where you want them and they come up, they know the conditions they're living under and the ones that survive are the ones you want growing in your garden. Um, speaking of seeds, I'm going to show you what uh, I've been doing uh, and I'm going to make a couple of videos going through the different kinds of uh, seeds that I've been sprouting, at least the ones that are going to work. I'm also going to share with you all the things I've done wrong with those who, that are not going to work. I have several things going on right now. But this will be the first video, and actually, it's not something I found in my house. Um, when I go around in the landscape and I see trees uh, with seed pods or uh, with nuts or fruits, I usually bring them home uh, just to see if I can sprout them, uh, to see if I can use them. Obviously, I go for the trees or plants that might be beneficial. And a thing that is always beneficial is nitrogen fixing plants, and we have a lot of them here in uh, Spain. So I've been collecting a lot of uh, legumes. I have seed pods here. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. I have a little collection here of various pods I've collected over time. Uh, you can do this with your kids fun. So this episode I'm going to show you how to, what you do with your legumes. 
once you've collected all these uh, these seed pods. Um, so let's start. So as I said, I have a small collection of legumes here. All kinds of of them. And they've just been left to dry out. You can see there are different kinds here. And what you do is once they dry out, you can actually if the seeds haven't fallen out like these ones have, you can actually quite easily open up the seed pod and remove the seeds. Now, what you do with your seeds is this. Collect the ones you want that look nice, that don't look like they've been wrecked in any way. Now, sorry about that, as I said, growing from seeds is the best way. And, and these trees, if you can find them in your area and they grow without too much water, bring artificial watering, those are probably the trees you want growing uh, on your property. They might be adapted to, to the conditions. Now, let's see. Let's just take a couple more one of these. Nah, this one doesn't look too good. Don't want that. Right. So, once you've collected your seeds, the ones you want, I have different kinds and I have no idea what these are called. No idea. I'm not really very much a botanist or I don't have any agricultural education so I don't know the name of any plants or flowers and as you probably noticed in the last video I yeah I um, misnamed a couple of plants now what you do next is you take some boiling water and pour it on the seeds the thing with these seeds are here with legumous seeds They have a hard shell, and it's it's. You can also scar the seed with a knife or a sharp object, but it's it's much easier using boiling water when you have several seeds going on at the same time. This shell, it's not that, that the seed won't germinate, it's just this is a hard shell that's protecting the seed and you need to break it in some way or another. And boiling water is by far the easiest way to do that. The seed is inside and, and is protected. So let's go get some boiling water. So here we take the boiling water and simply just pour it on the seed. like so. Now just leave that for 24, 48 hours, that would be fine. Now once you've done that, it's gonna look like this. And these are the seeds. The first thing you look for is if all the seeds have gone to the bottom. There are no floating seeds. If you have any floating seeds, you can discard them right away. 
Either the membrane hasn't been broken uh, by the boiling water or the seed is dead anyway. It won't germinate. So if you have anyone, any seeds floating on the top, just discard them and only use the ones at the bottom. You can see most of the, all of these seeds have gone to the bottom. Now I'm going to show you one of them. Sorry about that. Drop that one. What you can see now here is that without much effort, I can actually remove the outer shell and get into the seed. So the hard shell has been pierced, it's been uh, weakened, and the seed that's inside was actually what we want to get to and germinate is 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 ready now with legumes this is basically all you have to do to prepare them to plant so the next stage is planting legumes are fast growing trees so I don't want to replant them often so what I'm using is an old bottle of some kind cut the top off and I fill some gravel in the bottom here, soil, and then I take just a screw and punch some holes just about the gravel line here to make sure that they drain. And then it's simply a matter of wetting the soil and planting the seed. So here we have six pots ready to go. Make sure that the soil is moist and wet all the way through when you start and how do you know well when it starts draining out of your holes you can see the water coming here And when it starts draining out, that's when the soil is wet. Just leave this to settle. You can see the water coming here. And we're draining. Now, that's important that the soil gets wet before you start and then it gets to drain properly and then you can plant the seed. And once you've planted, your watering should be so that the soil just never dries out. It shouldn't be wet or moist like it is now. You only do this once to make sure that all the soil has been wet. And once that's done, you just want to make sure that it doesn't dry out completely. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and do this for all of them. And then we're going to plant the seeds. Actually, another thing I wanted to show you why I do this, especially when you're making the parts yourself, is to make sure that they drain properly. Now you can see I filled all of these with water and actually the one I showed you still hasn't drained. So that one needs more holes in the bottom. This one does and that one does as well. So this is also a way to make sure that your pots drain properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch some more holes in the three of them and then we're going to plant the seeds. 
So, here we are with our seeds drained and ready to plant. Now, I would put about two or maybe three seeds in each depending on your um, expected germination rate and again I don't know what it's going to be for these there you go and let them sit there and then again just put them somewhere don't water them anymore uh, unless the soil is about to dry out. You only want to prevent the soil from drying out. And then hopefully in a week or a couple of weeks, depending on which kind of legume you have, you'll be having small legumes, legume trees coming up This is definitely the biggest at the moment. These are these are just over a week old. Um, some legumes might take longer depending on what kind it is. So don't despair if it takes a couple of weeks to get up uh, and out of the soil and germinate. But basically just make sure that the soil doesn't dry out. And that's basically it. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and see you again next time.